Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate this expression, um, but with using uh, rational exponents. Now, the first thing I do is, you know, whenever I notice a, a negative exponent, I know that I can always rewrite that as a positive exponent by rewriting uh, my expression over 1. So therefore, I can rewrite this as 1 over 64 to the positive 2 thirds power. Now, to evaluate 64 to the 2 thirds power, um, you could look into you know, rewriting this as um, a root, but that would be the cube root of 64 squared, which does not really sound like fun, especially if we don't have a calculator. So the best thing I'd look into is you know, how can we rewrite uh, 64 as a power? And the important thing is when we're trying to simplify this, we want to be able to write it to a power that's going to be the same as our denominator. Because most students would say, well, why don't you write it as 8 squared to the 2 thirds power, right? That, that would make sense. But by using our rules of exponents, we'd have 8 to the 4 thirds, which really doesn't make our problem any easier. Um, so I want to be able to say, all right, can I rewrite 64 as a higher power? And especially, can I write it as a base raised to the third power? Which, thankfully, I can. I can rewrite this as 1 over 4 cubed to the 2 thirds power. Now, by using my properties of exponents, that's 4 to the 3 over 1 power. Whenever you have an, an exponent or a power raised to another power, you multiply them. So that's equal to 1 over 4 to the 6 over 3 power, which is equal to 1 over 4 to the second power, which is equal to 1 over 16. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate your expression using your rational exponents. Thanks.